What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Now today I'm bringing you a brand new review of a brand new cigar available online right now. It is the Davidoff Special 53 Kappa Dominicana. What a stunning looking 6 from 1 8 by 53 ring gauge. That perfecto shape, perfectly balanced in the hand there. It just feels great. Packed in with amazing amounts of tobacco. Now this is one of the cigars which is going to be part of our virtual hearth. But I'll talk about that some more in a little while. I just really want to get into this one. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to get this one cut and lit. I'll talk about the flavours and talk about the background of this cigar as I make my way through. But let's get it cut and lit. Let's move on to the first third. I hope you'll join me. See you in a second. So guys, I'm making my way through the first third on this one. Now the flavours have taken me back a little bit. The only thing I can really compare them to um, is watermelon. And I know that sounds strange, but it's just really nice, crisp, cold watermelon on a summer's day. This is just a really refreshing flavoured cigar. I opted not to cut the end off and just light it with that smaller ring gauge of the Perfecto end. Initially it was a little bit snug, but that's going to just be with the construction and how the cigar is made. But the tobacco's in this cigar, and I'm going to have to pull them up on my phone because it's quite a, quite some long-winded names and my memory isn't as good as it used to be. So the wrapper is Dominican, the binder is San Vicente Seco, and the filler is San Vicente Seco, Piloto Lejero, and Oloro Seco. Beautiful blends of tobaccos there. And like I said, this cigar was first released in 2002 when no one thought it could be done. No one thought that you could grow these premium, high quality, top of the range tobaccos in the Dominican Republic. And here we are with this one. Just a beautiful, beautiful cigar. I'm going to sit back because I'm enjoying this one just so much so far. The middle third for me is always that crisp and clean moment. Those kind of, that's where the flavors really start to shine. So I'm going to sit back. Let's see what that middle third has got in store. So I've just crept my way into the um, the start of the second third there and the flavour just jumped out at me. And it was um, it's oak, just real strong oak, just rounded oak, just a beautiful note in a cigar. Perfect room aroma with oak as well on a cigar. So if you ever get those cigars that have that oaky note to them, the room aroma just smells of luxury. Just a beautiful, beautiful one. I just wanted you guys to know that. I'm going to sit back and carry on with this. So the halfway point on this one, the flavours have progressed a little bit. That kind of fresh watermelon note at the beginning has taken a little bit of a step back. The espresso note has come to the front and it's also been joined by a dark leather note. And I say dark leather in the way of like a nice leather sofa, like a nice comfortable Chesterfield leather sofa. Just kind of being wrapped with those warm flavours of leather and just those well-rounded notes. Working really well with that espresso kind of punch in there as well. A beautiful, beautiful cigar. The draw is impeccable. A slightly slanted uh, straight cut on this one, which is a bit of a rarity for me. Finding myself going for those V cuts a lot more nowadays. But I'm going to sit back and enjoy this one. The bottom band's about to come off. I'll be saving that. That's going to go in my journal. But I hope you join me as these flavours progress. So making my way into the final third on this one. Now the flavours have changed up a little bit more. That espresso note has carried on being there. That leather note has came a little bit more to the forefront. And there's also been an introduction of earthy notes. Earthy and um, woody notes that have came through. As I'm on the finish as well, it's, it's a little bit of mixed spice my star anise cinnamon and a little bit of black pepper in the background there just adding a little bit of heat on that finish really really enjoyable the draw has just been impeccable all the way through construction wise flawless as you expect from davidoff nice big chunks of ash just falling off into the ashtray perfectly timed haven't managed to drop any ash on myself which is something i do quite a lot i'm going to sit back and take this one down to the nub i hope you join me at the end and i'll give you the lowdown so coming up towards the end of my time with this one today, those flavours in that final third all just came together in perfect harmony. The spiciness, the pepper, a little introduction of cream, not too much creaminess. This is a little bit of a break uh, from the norm for a Davidoff cigar, so not many of the flavours that you would expect from them. Grab yourself a box if you can, pick up a single, pick up the virtual hearth that is not to be missed. It's going to be an amazing insight into this brand, into the ethos behind this cigar, and just a little bit more knowledge, the perfect opportunity to ask questions and find out some Think more that you didn't necessarily know about this amazing hobby that we all enjoy. Head over to the website right now, it's seagars.com. If you've liked this video, as always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And until next time, I hope you're all keeping safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Peace.